Good Thursday afternoon, everyone. I am down here at iDrive360 again. I have some friends in town, and we are going to get some lunch at Tin Roof. So here's Tin Roof. So what it looks like on the inside, and it's a live music venue too. So we'll put a link to some older videos where we came here to check it out when it first opened. Here's my food at Tin Roof. I got a turkey BLT. It was called like the Big T. What did you get? The Southern. The Southern. Which apparently I didn't read because it looks like it's got peppers and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to give it a try. <laughs> Oh dang, look at those shrimp on this po' boy. Came over to the gift shop of the Skeleton Museum. This is an orca whale. There's a giant whale over there, and then there's a grizzly bear skeleton right there. Stop by the flip-flop store. I've never seen an entire store devoted to flip-flops. Man, these sizes are getting out of hand. There's a whole store devoted to Tarvises. Some Beauty and the Beast stuff. Yeah, right? Look at them all. There's tons of them. They have a whole section of emoji ones. Can't wait to go into this like off-brand gift store. He has like everything's just a little bit off. Look, it's Peppa Pig. This is amazing. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> this is amazing. My favorite salad is wine. Okay. We have since left High Drive 360. We are now down at Disney Springs. Good news is we get to see all kinds of updates on Disney Springs now. I wanted to show you guys a quick update on Edison. And we still have this little circular area down here that is very convincing to the fact that there is going to be a little tunnel that leads underneath to possibly what it's rumored to be Walt's place, a speakeasy underneath the Edison bar. Hopefully, that would be amazing. It's really impressive how far along it has come since the last time we were here. I like this super gulp cup that's up here. And we did find out that the date that's over top of the front entrance to the Edison bar is Walt's birth year. 1901. Still no vertical work on Wine Bar George, but I really feel like it'll be happening anytime soon. Uh, but they do have signs pointing to all of the different restaurants that are around here. The Gelato Place, which is right over here, and then Cooks of Dublin, which is right around the side of Raglan Road, and it acts as their quick service for Raglan Road. We're gonna go into Art Smith's Homecoming because, I don't know, they changed the name to Homecoming. I don't know why they did that, but they did, but we're gonna head inside and uh, hang out here for a minute. These are the thigh high chicken biscuits. They look so good. I cannot wait to try these. This is three biscuits topped with Chef Art Smith's famous fried chicken thighs and bread and butter pickles drizzled with hot honey. We're gonna go to Paddlefish and see if we can get a drink up at the bar, but there's like music happening right now that is, I wanna live where the people are, right? Is this Little Mermaid? Part of your world. We're up on the top floor of Paddlefish right now. Look at this view. We're at the bar at the top floor of Paddlefish right now. Get away from your paddle, but you look so proud Standing there looking fine on the other Take the pictures of yourself on the internet If we go down there We go down together They say you could do anything They'll say that I was clever Heading into the boathouse And we notice that there is a new sign for the oyster bar I feel like all these boats are racing. My friend ordered some oysters at Boathouse. This is what the oysters look like. I am not going to eat any of these because I don't eat oysters, but I mean, maybe if you like oysters, you might like to see this. I don't know what happened, but it got really cold really fast. But I mean, cold relative to a Floridian. I don't know why it got cold, because it was really hot today. From the next time, so come on everybody, just step right up. Yeah. And now you know that we love those beats. I'm so glad you already have front row seats. Ah, uh, yes. Listen, sir, I must ask. How does one grow such a magnificent mustache? Yes. You know that I had to take it there because I'm jealous of you because I could never grow facial hair. Y'all know that I've been spitting it good. Wearing that hoodie is the only time you've been in the hood. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. When I say hip hop, y'all say show. Hip hop, show. show. Hip hop, show. And that's how we warm up. How y'all doing, Disney Springs? Yo, his name is Taylor. And Taylor looked at my show and said, you're a failure. What's, What's your name? name? 
feel like it's been a few days since we've been inside the town square area of Disney Springs, but these big square speakers are kind of strange looking here. I have no idea what Johnson and Murphy is, but let's go inside. From the looks of their storefront, it kind of looks like they sell shoes and trench coats. Kind of looks like they're all about their shoes, but they also sell like dress wear. I felt some of the jackets in that store. Didn't seem like the best quality to me. Inside Sugar Boo's, and this sign looks awfully familiar. Let's go see if they have anything cool in here. This exploded motorcycle is pretty awesome. I honestly had no idea that there was a Star Wars Galactic Outpost here at Disney Springs. But it looks like they have a lot, a lot of Star Wars stuff. I feel like this used to be a Vinylmation area right here. But now it's all Star Wars. Oh, there's a build drone and lightsaber station here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Holy cow. Or I could get a little hat that makes me look like Yoda. Or a little backpack that makes me look like Yoda is being a backpack while I run. Switching over to the Marvel Superhero Headquarters. Let's see what they've got in here. This like faceless mannequin that's just doing some top secret stuff. But when I walked in, I said, how are you guys doing? They said, marvelous. And I was like, that is a fantastic pun. Thank you for doing that. And that was a really fun trip down to iDrive 360 in Disney Springs. It was fantastic hanging out with a couple of old friends that I've known for a really darn long time and it was good to see them again. I noticed that I didn't mention, and I do this a lot, and I'm sorry that I do this, but I don't tell you guys what I think of the food that I just ate. So the turkey sandwich at Tin Roof was really good. Like the bacon was super crispy, just the way that I like it. The only complaint that I had about that turkey sandwich was the fact that they cut it into fours and all of the turkey was like in the center, like a ball. So as soon as you bit into it, all of the turkey kind of came out in your mouth and you just had two pieces of bread stuck in your hand. You know what I mean? As far as the food at homecoming, those hot honey biscuits were so good. I want to eat like 10,000 of those things because it was just like, like a really nice fried chicken with hot honey on it on like cheddar biscuits. Oh man, I want to eat that all the time. I did notice not this time, but the time that I went to homecoming before was a Saturday night and it was very busy and the food that I got was not as good as I had had in the past. So I would caution you that if you're gonna go to homecoming, I definitely recommend it. Maybe try to go on a weeknight so that it's not as crowded as a Saturday night or Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. With that being said, it was an excellent trip, but I am off, so I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.